Let's make a healthy weeknight dinner. Start by chopping up your vegetables, some zucchini squash, red bell pepper, and onion, and sear all of this along with some ground turkey. And also we're gonna get some rice going to put this on top of. So you wanna season with salt, pepper, lots of garlic, and then for the meat, I like to add in soy, teriyaki, and sweet chili. Top everything with a little bit of sesame seeds and enjoy. These crispy salmon bites are one of my favorite air fry hacks. I cube my salmon and season with soy sauce, chili flakes, pepper, onion, and garlic powder and add some hot honey. Let that marinate in the fridge for up to 30 minutes. Air fry for 10 minutes at 390 degrees, leaving your pieces so crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Yeah, ready for another really simple weeknight dinner? Let's make chicken bowls. Step one. Preheat your oven, you know, typical 350, the norm. Next, cut up some chicken, however much you need to feed your family. For me, two chicken breasts is enough. So I'm cutting mine into strips and then from there, I'm just dicing it into bite-sized pieces. You can cut it bigger or smaller, really you just want a bite size. All right, now that the chicken's all cut up, we're gonna add just a little bit of butter to our pan. I'm cooking mine in a cast iron skillet because it can go in the oven, but really you can cook it in whatever and then transfer it. Okay, so this is the seasonings I'm using. I'm doing salt, pepper, some chili, Italian. It looks like I'm adding a whole lot, but it's really because it just wouldn't come out. I'm adding the rest of my garlic and some paprika. While the chicken's cooking, I'm making instant mashed potatoes. You can make fresh mashed potatoes. I can make fresh mashed potatoes, like real mashed potatoes. Um, but this makes it a lot faster. So on a busy night, I'm gonna go with the instant. Really doesn't matter what flavor. I'm doing four cheese tonight because that's what I have. And I'm just following the directions on the back, except for when it's done, I'm gonna add extra milk and butter and make it really creamy and a lot of cheese. Once the chicken's fully cooked, I'm adding in a huge can of corn, or you can do two small ones, or really whatever veggies that you want. And here I am fixing the mashed potatoes according to the packaging. Add some more milk. I like sour cream to make it creamy. And a little bit of cheese just to make it cheesy. Once you have all of it mixed in and your mashed potatoes are fluffy, you dump them straight on top of the chicken and corn. This is why I do mine in a cast iron, so that it's easy to just do it all in one pot. So smooth out all your mashed potatoes and dump on some cheese. It may not look the prettiest, but we're not going for presentation. We're going for easy. Now, into the oven until it's hot and bubbly. Done. Hot and bubbly. Hey guys, I hope you had a good day today. Um, I honestly have not been in a great headspace today. I'm kind of down and dreary. And I guess, I don't even know why, and the only reason I can come up with is my birthday is this week and I'm gonna be 46, so. Anyway, tonight for dinner we had homemade KFC bowls. I started out by making some homemade mashed potatoes. I cooked some of the great value popcorn chicken in the air fryer. I heated up some frozen corn with butter and seasonings. And then I heated up some chicken gravy. And then I layered the bowls with mashed potatoes, corn, popcorn, chicken, I put cheddar cheese on top of Ricky's and then I put gravy on top of his so it melted and that was dinner for tonight. Tonight for dinner I made an easy bowl using the harissa chicken that I prepped yesterday. I just heated up some brown rice in the microwave and added that to a bowl with arugula then heated up the harissa chicken and added that in, chopped up some cucumber Got my pickled onions that I prepped yesterday, added some crumbled feta, then fresh green onion and cilantro, and a scoop of tzatziki. This is so good.
Hey guys, um, this is my lazy bitch dinner. And when I say lazy bitch dinner, I mean, I make it about too many, maybe three or four times a week. So um, I don't feel bad about it. It's still healthy, it's delicious, and it gets eaten. And it takes two and a half to three minutes. Okay, one pack of rice, doesn't matter which rice, basmati, brown rice, long grain, uh, jasmine, whatever you want, heat it up and in a bowl. Okay, tuna in oil. I normally like to use Serena, but I went to Audi today, so we've got a different brand. So we're gonna pop some tuna on top. Okay, next up, avocado. We like lots. Okay, that's that. Next up, we're gonna go in with the sesame seeds. Now, black sesame seeds, white sesame seeds, sesame seeds, you need sesame seeds, it makes it taste delicious. The uh, seaweed. So you can find these big seaweed sheets at any supermarket or you can buy the small ones that the kids can take um, in school lunches, whatever. You're just gonna crush them up. Next up, we're going in with the tamari. You can use soy sauce or tamari. I like tamari, apparently it's healthier. <laughs> okay, QP mayonnaise, or any mayonnaise. We like to use the one with wasabi in it, but you can use regular. Last but not least, another little addition. You don't have to do this, but if you like a bit of spice, you wanna chuck some wasabi peas in there for a bit of spice and a bit of crunch. All right, guys, there it is, your lazy bitch dinner. The whole family's gonna love it. It is basically a sushi bowl deconstructed and bloody delightful. Mm. If you're looking for something quick and delicious to make for dinner, you have to try out these chipotle shrimp rice bowls. It's packed with so much flavor and you can customize the toppings however you like. First thing we're going to do is marinate our shrimp. We're going to add chipotle adobo paste, olive oil, fresh garlic, chili powder, cumin, salt, oregano, coriander, and black pepper. Mix it all together until it has a beautiful color like this and then we're going to add a little bit more olive oil on our pan over high heat and sear the shrimp until it looks beautiful just like this. I also made some cilantro lime rice to go with the bowls, which I'll show how to make in the next video. And then we add all our toppings along with the shrimp, some sour cream, and cilantro to finish it off. It turns out so good, and now we just enjoy. Tonight for dinner, we are making one of my favorites, a burrito bowl with some of this avocado ranch dressing. Burrito bowls are one of my go-to dinners because they're so quick and easy to make and they're perfect for nights when you don't feel like cooking or you don't really have time to cook. And I'm going to show you guys some tricks that I do to make making a burrito bowl even quicker and easier. The first tip is if you don't have an air fryer, you need to go get one. It's probably my most used kitchen tool. They're so fast, you don't need to turn on the oven, you don't need to mess up a pan. I just added a bunch of peppers and onions, sprayed it with some olive oil, and I'm going to add a little salt. I just air fry mine at 400 degrees until they're done. It usually takes about 10 minutes. Those veggies are done. Then I just have some corn that I chopped off of the cob and I'm gonna put that into the air fryer for a few minutes. If you don't want fresh corn, you can also definitely use frozen corn. And here's another trick if you're running short on time. I usually make my rice on the stove the normal way, but if I'm running short on time, I use this minute rice. It seriously only takes like five minutes to make, so that's nice. <laughs> I was gonna make guacamole, but my avocado wasn't ripe enough, so I couldn't really mash it that well, but it's okay. I'm going to show you guys what you can do if your avocado isn't ripe. You can blend it and make it into like an avocado ranch. So just add your avocado to a blender and then you're going to add in a couple tablespoons of Greek yogurt. I like to use Greek yogurt instead of sour cream in most of my dishes because it's higher in protein and lower in fat. Then you're going to add in some lime juice, some salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. Also, cilantro is great in this, so if you have cilantro, throw that in too. Then you're also going to need just a couple tablespoons of water just to help it blend smoothly. Just blend that up until it's smooth. See, this is like the perfect situation when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. When life gives you hard avocados, make avocado dressing. Honestly, 
actually i don't know it's a tough call but it might be almost better than guacamole i'm gonna do a little bit of greens in each bowl because it gives it more volume and you also get some more veggies in and i'm gonna put some rice and then for my protein i just have some ground beef i actually cooked this ground beef last night but whenever i cook beef i always cook extra because it's kind of annoying to cook and then I just seasoned this one with some paprika, chili powder, garlic powder, and salt. And then some veggies. And then some of the grilled corn. I would also normally add like a huge scoop of salsa, but I forgot to get it. Just sad, but it's okay. And then I'm just going to drizzle on some of the avocado dressing. And I had this chopped up red onion that I was going to put in the guac, but I'm just going to put that on top. And there we have the quicker and easier version of a burrito bowl. I hope you guys enjoyed some of those little hacks. Let me know if you're going to try them.